Hey guys, and welcome back to Angel Education YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm very fortunate to be joined by uh, my colleague, Mark Fries, who's here to talk about um, film studies. So if you're interested in film studies, keep watching. Hey, uh, so um, Mark, first of all, thank you very much for joining us. Great to have you. Thank you, yeah, good to see you. Um, so Mark, um, Let's just jump straight into it. So mm -hmm. what, what makes you qualified to, to talk about film studies? Okay, so um, I did my undergraduate degree uh, in film, majored in film with American studies. Then I uh, did a master's uh, distinction. That was purely film studies, but also a bit of media and communication, and we'll come back onto that. Um, and then I spent three years doing my PhD uh, in film and television, um, which also comes under the rubric of cultural history. So it was looking at film and television at, you know, as cultural documents, you know, how we can understand culture and history through these uh, you know, cultural discourses. Okay, so, that, so I specialised in, in British film and television. Okay. Okay. Basically, in short, you know, this is not a this is not a scam. Mark knows what he's talking about. <laughs> um, all right. So, um, what is you know what is film studies? Because you know you hear these words: film studies, film aesthetics, um, mm -hmm. film, filmmaking. So, what, you, and to be honest, I'm you know I've been doing this for ten years. I'm still a bit confused. So, what's could you please clarify that? Yes. Um, maybe one of the reasons why there's confusion over it is because of the way that the subjects are developed. So initially, film studies began as something as an offset um, from literary studies, uh, but also American studies and then sociology. So the first film studies departments grew out of those subjects. So there used to be very much a, a kind of literary aesthetic em uh, emphasis on studying films as art and studying films as, um, as something that, that furthers art form. Um, when film studies then became uh, a kind of subject in its own right, around about the 60s and 70s onwards. Um, it became much more capacious as a subject. Um, so it includes everything really from, from business and economics uh, to art history and anthropology. So there is still an emphasis on studying film as a text and studying its modes, uh, its modes of address, its artistic um, form. But much more emphasis now on on, on film as, as being something that, that intervenes in culture. Okay, it can tell us a lot about the cultural history of the time, mm. the history of the time, the social um, uh, and cultural concerns of the time. But of course, the other part of it is um, practical. Okay, so depending on what you want to do and what you want to get out of the subject, you can cover all or some of these, or, or put an emphasis on um, practical filmmaking, um, as we are here, mm -hmm. um, and lead that as your direct uh, route into your career in the, in the media industries. Got it. Interesting. And, um, you know, when someone is thinking, you know, why, why would somebody want to do film studies? So what, that, what can that degree, undergraduate degree, lead to? Mm -hmm. So... The obvious uh, answer is, um, you know, maybe a degree in film or, or media. Um, but again, if, if you were to do that, you would want to emphasise much more uh, on uh, production, um, making films rather than maybe the theory behind them. However, and as, it, as it is a, a capacious subject and it overlaps, it's intersectional, and it covers, you know, pretty much the main important uh, subjects and topics of our lives. Um, obviously, um, the analytical and critical skills that are taught within film studies can be translated into any number of careers. Mm. Okay, so, so, the, so the depth of, um, of, of research and, and uh, analysis um, and constructing arguments and synthesising lots of different information you know, from some of these different topics mm. into a coherent argument um, is applicable across, uh, you know, any top profession really, where they're looking for uh, you know, your ability to to manage these different things. No, no great, and 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 it, and it sounds like um, if if I understood you correctly, there is also an element of transferable skills. So you can do film studies, but you can do something quite unrelated. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I mean, within uh, certain parameters. 
I remember on my first day of, uh, of film studies, the, the, the head of department introduced himself and said, you know, I'll give you five pounds if any two of you um, have the same route to the end of your degree, i.e. you take the same modules. Because there is so many options uh, that you can take, um, you know, particularly for those subjects that are more um, amenable to, uh, you know, the traditions of, of arts and humanities. Um, although I ended up doing an American politics module. So interesting. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, Mark, just um, you know, just wrapping this up, um, what would your um, top three tips be for people who are considering, you know, who are watching this, they're now thinking, okay, great, sounds like this is for me. Mm -hmm. How to make a strong undergraduate application for film studies? Top three short tips. Okay. Um, well, first of all, um, it might be worth thinking about what you want to do with that degree. So you can let the university uh, the admissions people know that um, you're going to use that degree to then become, uh, you know, an important statistic for them to be successful, um, to use that degree uh, and be part of, you know, their, their uh, successful alumni. Mm. So that, that's, that's one thing to consider. Secondly, um, I think obviously it's, it's thinking about what you want to get out of it in terms of, do you want to emphasise more uh, on practical skills? Do you want to be more of a filmmaker or do you want that as a route into uh, the kind of the, the more um, um, extended realm of, of journalism mm. and media etc so it's well worth uh, researching which universities offer uh, you know which um, ratio of courses which ratio, ratio of, of, um, of practical for mm. example so that's a very important thing if you want to go down that road um, so do your homework really on that on, on that regard um, and thirdly I think um, know your subject you know um, and even if you haven't studied film before and you're applying to a film, well, you know, one of the great things about it, and because it is a, a, a very overlapping interdisciplinary subject, um, you know, talk about how you'd use your historical basis, talk mm -hmm. about how you'd use your literary studies, talk about how you'd even use business studies, um, and how you'd use that background uh, in order to, to be successful within your degree. So those may be the top three tips. Great, great. Guys, well, you know, there you, there you heard it uh, from... Um you know, from Mark. And uh, just a thing for me, uh, if you haven't already signed up uh, for my newsletter, which I send out every three weeks, uh, that has tips and tricks on university admissions and uh, really cool stuff, events, conferences, seminars um, that you can use to build up your CV, um, uh, do check it, uh, check it out, sign up uh, in the link below. Uh, it will be very valuable to you. Uh, but for now, Mark, thank you so much for your time. Great to have you and thank you for sharing your advice. Thank you. Cheers.